According to plan. That's why I ran the last couple days. Now is the first time in a while I can say I am an injured runner. And so I'm trying to get this back all dialed in before I head to New York Marathon and attempt to now go from the start line to the finish line. I've got about two weeks before the New York Marathon and I am trying to get this back dialed in. Driving down to San Diego, I was a little nervous to get an understanding of what was going on with my back, but there was nobody that I trusted more than my buddy Brian. He owns over nine clinics in Southern California, opening up a few more, has a couple up in Seattle. And if there's one thing I can say about this guy, we have spent miles together. Trained for two marathons, trained for two Ironmans, trained for a third Ironman, but he had his first baby and wasn't able to do that one. We've biked from San Francisco to Los Angeles. This guy and I have spent so many hours training together, so many hours together as friends. We were both in each other's weddings. And so when I knew I needed to get myself ready, get myself dialed in to hopefully get to the starting line of the New York Marathon, I knew Rehab United was a place I wanted to go. And he let me know kind of what's going on with my body. From the moment I laid down and he picked up my legs and to figure out what was going on, he goes, whoa, Fry, you are in some bad shape right now, which, no surprise, I could probably do better at taking care of my body. And this was a good wake up call. You know, I'm flipping over halfway through my 30s and most of my life, all I've done is do a little bit of pre-work, get out and run, come home, not do very much post-work and then I threw in 80 miles a week for a training plan and my body just said, Brian, you need to start taking care of it. And so that's what I'm doing. As we went through my workouts and what he was having me do, I got some good insight from him. And a lot of it was my hips and my back were causing left side compression, which was pinching the sciatic nerve, potentially some herniated disc, which I have dealt with in the past. It's what caused me to stop playing basketball and just pick up running. He walked me through a bunch of different exercises, a bunch of different stretches to help loosen these up. And I will walk through some of these in a future video. But as you can see, there was a lot of work with trying to, as he described, lube up the joint or nerve flossing for the sciatic nerve and essentially get this thing to be able to be uncompressed in my lumbar spine, as well as be able to move freely within the muscles that are most likely extremely tight and grabbing onto this nerve, causing this pain in my glute, a little tiny bit in my hamstring and in my calf. And so I will have over the next two weeks, a couple different workouts that he gave me. It was incredible working with Rehab United. They loaded me up with this app where they have all of my training to get done over the next week, how many to do a day, which ones to do every day, and dialed in that home health care to get me ready and back to hopefully the starting line in two weeks. I will be taking several days off running. So last time that I ran was actually Tuesday, that five mile jog. And since then I've just been resting, recovering, got down to go see him. And now I will be going down a couple more times before the marathon to hopefully loosen this bad boy up. But the next video I'll do, I'll walk through a couple of my workouts that have been done. Trying to get that body ready. This is a great wake up call for myself, us runners in our 30s, 40s, 50s and above. We gotta take care of ourselves. We're no longer the spring chickens that can just jump out of bed, get the workout in and most of our day doesn't work anymore. I'm all right with that. Check out the workouts in my next video that he gave me. If you are suffering with lower back pain as a runner, these are for you.